I, I want us to be careful um, in terms of how we talk about assessment data in the context of, of working class youth of color. I do not trust standardized tests to tell me the learning ability of working class students of color. Uh, and just some you know, anecdotal but representative kinds of examples in Memphis. Um, we've asked second graders to figure out a snowboarding question, right? One friend snowboards 20 feet, another friend snowboards 12 feet. You have to sort of excuse the numbers for snowboarding relevance because it's second grade, right? So, but I'm asking you to add 20 and 12. He takes a uh, ski lift and then he snowboards 12 more feet. How many feet did he snowboard? All you're really being asked is like, what's 20 plus 12? But what does the young working class black student do in, in their second grade class? What's a, what's a sky lift, right? Uh, other version, a middle school math question. Again, ask students about a yacht race. Who is writing test questions for anywhere in Tennessee asking about yachts? That story goes like this. What's a yacht? And you all know, right? If I'm a test proctor, I can't even say, just look at the numbers, sweetie, right? Just do the math. I can't even say that. I just have to like sort of do my happy weird shrug and pretend like we don't have a real relationship and pretend like we're not real humans together because you're taking a test and that matters more than anything I'm doing, even though it depends on, you know, how much money I'm going to make this year or if I even get to keep my job because that's how important standardized tests are. Also the phenomenon, right, of we, we claim so many young people in our area can't read, yet we produce remarkable artists. You all know how much harder it is to write a good hip hop song than it is to write a compelling academic essay? Are we kidding when we say that, oh, we've got all these illiterate folks in Memphis? I, again, I just think we're asking the wrong kinds of questions. Right? How, how many cute little white kids up in New Hampshire can tell me what Jukin is? Well, Jukin's not gonna be on the standardized test, right? So lots of the things that those cute little kids up in New Hampshire know is gonna be on the standardized test. And the things that the cute little kids in Memphis know, well, that's never gonna show up on the test. School is not set up for you. Virtually none of the things that are celebrated or that are activated for you that you get excited about at home are present in school. Lots of the people that you love the most in your life are demonized in school. because They didn't go to college or, or they, you know, they don't have good jobs. Maybe they work multiple shifts. Maybe they're on third shift and things like that. You don't even see them at night and whatever else, right? In the United States, we're taught in school that that means they made bad life decisions. I think there's important kinds of things that we can learn from those testing data. But I think we need to be very, very, very suspicious about their efficacy, about their accuracy, um, as if they aren't sort of as much measures of white supremacist capitalism as they are of a, a student's ability to parse math and literacy. Uh, if anybody watching this wants to see more uh, of, of the arguments Zach just made, there's a fellow named Christopher Emden. He does some, some good lectures on this. And one of the ones that stuck in my mind was uh, he was teaching these low income like middle school kids. And he gave them cameras and he said, you know, as an assignment, go home, capture your, your home environment and, 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 and write about it and come back. And what he expected to see was, you know, rats and paint falling off the ceilings and uh, all of the things that we stereotype about poverty. He found sunrises, sunsets, flowers. These kids' realities didn't fit the stereotypes that, that the teachers walked into the classroom expecting because they didn't, they didn't really talk to their kids. They didn't really understand the children that were sitting in those seats in front of them. I like Diane Ravitch's comment about standardized testing. Uh, the problem with standardized testing is we're not teaching standardized kids. All these kids have a different story and, they, and they've seen the world a different way. And one of our challenges as teachers is to under, get inside their heads and understand that. And, uh, and to put them all on this test prep, you know, assembly line, that's not education.